Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I will be showing my wish list for polish pickup for the month of July. If you're not familiar with what polish pickup is, it's a monthly collab between indie makers <clears throat> and they come together to create polishes, hand and nail care items, miscellaneous items, miscellaneous items like keychains and bags and all that good stuff. Um, and they create these items um, amongst, well, inspired by a specific theme. Um, it is, I think I mentioned it's limited edition. There's usually products that will have a cap, meaning that there's only a certain amount of products that will be sold once they sell out. Um, that's all. <laughs> you may be able to purchase more if the cap is increased. Um, check their Facebook page, um, Polish Pickup's Facebook page. Um, it's a great way to keep track of how many items are left. Um, and that way you know if additional polishes or additional items have been added. Um, this is a pre-order, so you, you know, if you purchase for the month of July, you won't get your um, polishes for about three to four weeks. Um, the theme for this month, though, is rewind. And what that means um, is that there's certain um, items that the, that the makers will bring back that were originally created, and that could be at any point. So a couple months ago, last year, two, three years ago, um, and they bring it to the polish pickup shop, which I'll be showing you what's on my wish list here. And then they also can bring back an item to their shop. And the items in their shop usually last um, a little bit longer. Like you have more of a time frame to shop. Polish pickup, the time frame is only the first Friday of every month. And then they close the, um, that following Monday. So I think that's, I think I got everything. Now let's go into my wish list. So I thought it was way worse. <laughs> This is actually not so bad. I have about, um, I think nine or ten items, um, so that's that's pretty good for we for a rewind month. That means that I got the things that I wanted previously. But let's start off with the cuticle oil sampler by Northern Star, and this is in Monster Mash. Is there a cap for this? Um, yes, there's 150 of these available. Um, I always see Polish with Ray um, rave about these cuticle oils. <clears throat> I've never tried them and I want to give them a try. Um, there's four different scents. So you have Fruity Ginger Ale, Poppy, Midnight Scream, and Dr. Yum. Um, you have, where's the ingredient list? Right here. There's jojoba oil, avocado oil, green tea seed oil, and fragrance. I love when the ingredients are simple to the point you can pronounce them. Um, it has jojoba oil, which I love jojoba oil. So I really want to pick this this little package up. Next up, we have wildflower lacquer, and this is perhaps a Christmas gourd. I don't believe there's a cap on this one. There is not. So this is inspired um, by Mora. I think I'm saying that right, of Schitt's Creek. I never watched that TV show, so hopefully I pronounced the name right. But it's described as a um, deep red cherry base with pink to orange shifting shimmer. And it looks like this one is a stainer, which is whatever to me. I don't really mind. Um, it's just a cleanup process that I'll just be extra careful with. But, oh my goodness, I don't remember. I'm not certain when this one originally came out. I don't know. But for whatever reason, uh, either it sold out on me or maybe I just didn't realize it. I think it sold out on me <laughs> because I remember when I first started getting into Wildflower Lacquer, literally... You know, if there was a polish cap in polish pickup, it would sell out like in seconds, like literally maybe like half a second. Um, so I think I may have missed it the first time around that way. But this one is stunning. I can see myself wearing this in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, all seasons. Like this is gorgeous. It has that intense glow. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely getting this one. Then we have Sassy Sauce Polish and this is in Glampire. Glampire, did I say that right? Glampire. Yeah. Um, this is capped at 500. Um, it's inspired by a glamorous vampire. Um, it was originally released in September of 2022. It's a violet jelly packed with red copper gold. Nope. Red copper golden shifting shimmer, black red shifting multi crepe, multi chrome flakes, and red glitter flakes. That's a lot. Um, it says that. When it hits the light, it sparkles. This be this beauty absolutely glows. Uh, I don't remember this back in September coming out. I don't know how I missed it because it's an absolute stunner. Oh, 
look at that glow. They are kidding. That glow is intense. I can see the glow in all of the swatches too. I need to have this one. Caitlin swatches. This is her right here. Literally makes every polish look amazing. I don't know what like magic she has on her fingers, but everything always looks great on her. But I definitely want this one. I'll be picking it up. Next up, we have Night Owl Lacquer, and this is Following Always. Um, it doesn't look like there's a cap, so it's inspired by um, the maker's favorite season and holiday, which is Fall and Halloween, which I absolutely love Halloween. It's actually one of my favorite holidays, too. Um, I do... I used to do a lot of special effects makeup. Now that I have two little ones, it's really tough to do that. It's it's time consuming. It's definitely fun. I love it, but um, I just don't have the time to to commit to doing it. But I love Halloween. Um, this is a clear base filled with purple reflective glitter pigment, red, orange, gold, green, crystal, chameleon flakes, and black flakes. Um, I was talking with um, or chatting with Gotta Love Polish um, or Gadolina. Um, her handle on Instagram and on YouTube is Gotta Love Polish. We were chatting about this specific one and she, this is also on her wish list and she was worried that <clears throat> because of the clear base that you may have some bald spots and it may not come off um, as opaque as these pictures but um, I think all of the pictures are all the swatch pictures are pretty consistent with how like are pretty consistent in in every single photo like I don't see bald spots in any of these photos um, I mean, I don't know how many coats it took to build up. I'd guess like two to three, but you can see that it looks the same in every single photo. So I don't think the clear base is really going to deter from this beautiful polish. I definitely want it. Um, it has reflective glitter, which I absolutely love. I love reflective glitter and flakies together. Oh my gosh, it's like perfection. So I'll be getting this one for sure. Next up, we have Lily Pad Lacquer, and this is Spookalicious. Um, there is 120 of these available. So this one is also inspired by Halloween. It's a neon green jelly base filled with orange, pink, and gold iridescent flakies. Um, I don't know. I feel like... So I love bright colors, right? Um, but for some reason this season, I've been kind of nervous to wear really bright yellows and greens. I don't know what it is because that's, that's not like me at all. I don't know I, I don't know it's 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 not like me but anyways I think this polish is gorgeous I love the glow that it gives off I mean I definitely would rock this as a mani and a petty it does look like it's a little bit sheer but this is a jelly base uh, so just keep that in mind and I have super short nails I don't really plan on growing them out so nail line isn't gonna be a problem for me but just keep that in mind if your nails are longer than mine um, that you could potentially see some nail line. You may have to build it up in three coats or um, use a blurring base coat. But I, I love this one and um, I'll probably end up picking it up. Next up we have Girly Bits and this is Universal Language. <clears throat> Let's see, is there a cap? There's a cap of 400. Um, this is a very long description here. So Universal Language is a vibrant purple loaded with pink shimmer and pink color shifting flakies. I remember when this one came out and I passed on it. Now looking at these beautiful swatch photos, I don't know why I did. Um, this one, so I, like I said, I passed on it. I don't know why I did. I really love it. If I need to shave down my list, would this be the first to go? Probably because I really enjoy the other polishes on my wish list or I really favor the other the other polishes on my wish list more um but I do really love this one I love how vibrant it is I love those little pink flakies right there pink flakies pink color shifting flakes um so yes I am interested in this one and just an FYI some um the polishes that will be coming to the maker shop they they usually leave a photo um like the last photo on the polish pickup site so you're familiar with so they'll it looks like this one is going to be offered on their website next up we have fair maiden and this is tajin queen hopefully i'm saying that right there is no cap um this is from january 2022 um it is described as a bright neon yellow orange polish with small red flakes and pink aurora shimmer um again i do remember when this one came out and i think it was in between this one and another polish that was similar um and i pass on this one and i got the other one 
Um, but now that it's back, I keep looking at it and I think it's beautiful. It's definitely um, not your average type of pot, not your average type of polish. And I love that. So I can definitely see myself wearing this um, in the summer months and even honestly for like October-ish Halloween time. Next up is Emily Damali and this is an ode to no one. Um, this is capped at, let's see, is it capped? Is it capped? Is it capped? Um, hmm. I don't know if this one is capped or if the one on the, on their website is capped. I'm not certain, but anyways, um, this is, where's the description right over here, a dark purple jelly base with copper, gold, green, and blue iridescent flakes. This polish is beautiful. I passed on this one. I remember it. I remember looking at it and I was like, nah, I don't really need it. Polish with Ray mentioned it. It's on her wish list. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, this is going on my wish list too. And I definitely want it. Next up, we have Cuticula and this is Miyagical 2.0. Um, there is no cap. It's inspired by a black cat on Halloween. <laughs> There's a lot of Halloween polishes on my wish list. Am I surprised? No. <laughs> um, but this is described as a deep indigo base with strong, large particle orange, gold, green shifting shimmer and silver holographic flakes. Um, the scattered hollow change gives the base color a deeper shade and gives the large particle shimmer a more striking effect. I love my hollow flakies. So this is definitely like a must for me. I could have sworn... I had this polish guys I could have sworn I did but I checked my entire collection I do not have it Cuticula has an amazing formula when it comes to polishes so um, I definitely want this one yes I can see myself wearing this one in the fall and for Halloween <laughs> or around Halloween uh, right and the last one on my wish list for polish pickup because there is one other one that I would like to get on one of the maker site this one is Cleona Cosmetics and this is Hitchhiking, Hitchhiking Ghosts 2.0 there is no cap for this polish it is <laughs> inspired by a haunted mansion movie and attraction another Halloween inspired polish um, an indigo base uh, with pink gold lime emerald shifting shimmer pink orange gold green iridescent flakes and holographic micro glitter i do not own any polishes from cleona cosmetics um i don't know i just never really ventured off and purchased a polish from them i've seen them plenty of times on polish pickup but i don't know i just never um, loved anything as much to purchase it i do remember when this one came out um and I know, like, I seen it on other people's wish list, and I just kind of just passed on it. Um, but looking at it now, this this is a gorgeous polish, and I don't know why I passed on it. Um, so I would love for this polish to be my first Cleona Cosmetics polish. I think I'll fall in love with it. I love all the shiftiness. I love the shimmer. I think it's gorgeous. So definitely want to grab this one. Okay, and the polish that is coming back for rewind on the maker site that I want is by Danny Viana. Um, I didn't even know this polish was going to be available. I saw it on God I Love's polish wish list. Um, and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. This is, um, so by Danny Viana, this is Basilisk Scales. Look at this guys. Look at this. This is stunning. It has gorgeous flakies. I love the green um, like base. I love how it's like that grassy green, but it's still a bright green. Um, so this is described as a green jelly base with micro holographic flakes and metallic gold flakes and green to blue UCC flakes. Um, so it looks like this is available now. So I'll probably end up purchase purchasing it. Um, so I don't forget about it or forget about the date. Um, July is a very busy month for me. I'll be going to the Polish and Beauty Expo um, next weekend. So I hope to see some of you guys there. If you're going, please say hi. Um, and then I'm going to North Carolina at the end of July. So lots going on. But oh, I got to have this polish. This is gorgeous. All right, guys. That is all on my wish list for polish pickup for the month of July. Um, so not so bad, right? Not, not so bad. I think I did pretty good. Um, let me know if any of these polishes are on your wish list. 
Um, if you have other polishes on your wish list, I want to know what, what you're thinking about getting. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you do. I upload videos with live polish swatches and I love talking about all things nail polish. Thank you again and I will see you in my next one.